Hey guys, somebody had asked me a question having to do with Printful and their mock-up generator, the sizing and resolution of images, and how can you make sure that the image that you create in the mock-up generator is the exact same thing that you put on your product. Okay, I've got other videos and courses and stuff on Printful and their mock-up generator, and I'll link to all of that in the description box below. But in this case, I am going to answer this question specifically. Why would I tell people to use the mock-up generator if they aren't 100% sure that they'll be able to duplicate the exact same thing on their product listing? And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm actually gonna show you why in this video, okay? This all has to do with the print file that you save, okay? I am on the Printful homepage. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit mock-up generator. And as you can see, I'm signed in. You would need to have a free account to use this, okay? So what I'm going to do real quick here is I'm just going to, this had to do with my how to create and sell digital abstract art course. And it was for an all over print product and design. So I am going to go ahead and just duplicate that. Okay. So we've got the all over print shirt here. You always want to make sure they won't even show you the mock-up until you choose your stitch color. So just go ahead and choose a stitch color. All right. You can always change it later. All right. We're going to go to design. Okay, I'm going to choose the file, and in this particular course, this was the design, one of the designs that I had chosen, okay, and as you can see here, all right, so again, this is an all-over print product, so the design that I created wasn't necessarily for just the design itself for an all-over print product, okay, but we were able to create an all-over print product out of the design. The course itself was how to create digital abstract art. This is the art, but I did create all over print products out of it, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay. Average DPI here. You can see this image is too small to cover this entire image and have it be of high print quality. Okay. But right here, if you took it and you dragged it, because here, according to, this is answering the question as far as your DPI and everything. When you bring your image into Printful, Printful is going to tell you, once you upload it to your product, whether or not it's good. What they consider good is 120 and over would be considered good. You'd see it here in green. Anything less than that, it would say average. It would be in yellow, as you saw a little bit ago, okay? That's telling you your print quality, all right? So again, this isn't meant to be just the image itself was not meant to be an all over print, but we're gonna create an all over print out of it by making a pattern, okay? So you can kind of see what you can do here with patterns. And actually, if you spaced it, unspaced it, we're gonna create, we're gonna keep a little bit of see-through stuff here. I'll show you why in a minute, all right? You can create all kinds of different, <laughs> different like designs out of the design. Okay. Something like that is kind of cool. All right. And again, you can play around with the spacing. All right. So what we're going to do, we'll go back to design tools. You can, let me see here really quick. Okay. You can change the background color. So like if you did this, you know, you can create different versions of the same product. All right. And really quick, if I chose the mock-up view, we're just going to show you this from the front real quick. Okay. Takes a little minute. Then you, <laughs> we didn't do the sleeves yet, but it is an option. You do have the option to create an all-over print situation just on maybe the front of the shirt, leave the sleeves in the back, you know, not done. All right. However, you can always do the left sleeve. Um, let me see here. Wait, let me go back. Let me go back to the front. All right. What you would do in this case here is you would duplicate. Scroll down. You can take this exact thing here. You duplicate like the left sleeve. And this is pretty much the process you go through. And we'll just kind of change that background color real quick just so you can get a different idea. Okay. Let's go ahead and duplicate this also to the right sleeve. We'll duplicate it to the back as well. All right, maybe we'll take the back and we'll 
flip it real quick, or rather, excuse me, we'll flip it. You can flip it in any possible way you want. We'll take that right sleeve. We'll also flip that, flip it horizontally, okay? And so you would go to the mock-up generator and you would see multiple versions. You know, you'd see here, you got the front, you got the back, all of this stuff, okay? So this is how you would play with this, okay? This is how you would play with this. You use all of these little tools here. You can align it, you can flip it, you can duplicate it, okay? All of this is in the course itself, okay? So I'm kind of just lightly going over it here, all right? So what you would do is you can do a couple things. You can save it to your templates, which this part right here is a little bit new, right? I have not seen this before. You can also generate the files, okay? So in this case, let's just say you created the mockups and you can choose whatever mockups here you want, blah, 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 okay? You'll get all of these different ones. You got this cool seasonal Halloween one that they came out with, all right? In this case, the only one that really matters to us right now for the sake of this video is the print file, okay? So you want to make sure you save the print file, all right? And this is why I quickly name it, okay? Abstract all over print shirt, okay? And then you would generate the files, all right? And in this case, because you want to save this design, all right? you would go ahead and go with the PNG because you want it transparent in the background, okay? Okay, it might take a minute until it actually does what it needs to do. And then you can either save it to the library, which I personally am not going to do because I did not uncheck all of those other ones and I'll wind up with a ton of them in my library, which I'd have to go and delete. You can also download the files, which I will do. That will be much easier for me to delete. Okay, so I'm going to download these files. Okay, so it's going to take just a second till it is done. All right, we're going to open that up. You want to quickly, as soon as it loads, you want to extract those if possible. That's always easiest to do it that way. Okay. However, you can see here, all right, so you've got these mockups here, but you want the print file. There we go. These are all your print files, all right? So this is the back. All right, and then the other ones you would see, like this is likely the front. It won't say front, it'll say default, but, right, default. So this would be the front. And then the other two are gonna be your sleeves, okay? So what you would do here, now that you have these print files, these this is exactly what showed up on your mockup, okay? So what you wanna do here is you want to create a new product. Okay, so you can create the same shirt and it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is you choose. All right, I think I had chosen the white stitch color, all right? You would go to design, you would choose the file, all right? In this case, I didn't save these to the library, so I would upload the new file. So as you can see here, I have the file open, okay? So I'm gonna go with this one, this one, this one, and this one might be pushing it as far as actually bringing these in without it taking a year just because I have it's the files are probably big but I'm just going to go ahead and open them and they will upload here okay so as you can see these have all uploaded and what's really cool if you just hover over it'll tell you which one is which all right so that's the back that's the front this would be the left sleeve this would be the right sleeve okay so in this case, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and choose that front one. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and we can do all of these. All right. This is, let me see, that's the back, right? Yep, that's the back. Left sleeve. We'll just choose these all. That is left. Right sleeve. Bring that in. 
And again, if you had saved these to your library, they would have already been here. You would have just saved the step of uploading them. Okay. And there's your mock of view. Now, as you can see on all of these, the print quality is always going to be a default good 150. All right. But if Printful is telling you, hey, this is cool, we're, we're happy with this, then that is fine. Once you create the product in the mock-up and you save and it says it's good and everything is good and you save those print files, what you're doing is you're duplicating the exact same thing. They have saved what you've done on your mock-up. And then all you need to do is bring that saved image back in and place it on your product. But you don't have to do anything else. It's already done. Okay. Here's your mock-up view. Okay. And as you can see here, let's see, let's go back to that. Let's go to this. And I'm pretty sure this might be, I don't know, the back. Okay. So here's the back of this mock-up. There's the back of this mock-up. Okay. So it's the same. All right. You can see that patch there of, of black. There's that same patch. All right. There's the front. Here's that little patch there on the front. Let's open this up here. I think that might be the front. Yeah. Okay. There that is over there. There that is over there. Okay. So the actual mock-up photos that you'll get will look a little better than what you're seeing here. Okay. It's just, you can see they're a little bit crisper and a little bit clearer, but the pattern is exactly the same. All right. So there's that stripe and there's that little wiggly thing. All right. There's that stripe. There's that little wiggly thing at the same place. Everything, everything is the same. There's that patch of dark there. All right. There's that patch of dark there. So there you have it. Okay. That's exactly what you would do. All right. So in that case, I saved the whole you know, when I created the mock-up, I had saved that black background, but what you would do is you would choose perhaps no background. And this way, when you create your product, you can create different versions, you know, of having a different color behind. That's why it's so cool to be able to do this kind of work because you can take this one piece of artwork and create multiple products out of it, multiple designs out of the same piece of artwork that you have created. Okay. So guys, this is basically what I wanted to show you, okay? This is how you take the exact same product, all right? Like I said, it's obviously, it's crisper and it's clearer. This is a nice high quality PNG that, you know, that you were able to download and use for, use for your listings. But as you can see here, the actual placement of your design is exactly the same and that's how you go about it. All right. I hope this answers the question why I want you guys to create your mock-up photos first, your mock-up artwork. All right. Save the print file. You use the print file to duplicate the exact same thing on the product. All right. That is, that is your foolproof way of doing it. And that is how you also know that the image you're using will have a good quality. It'll tell you. All right. So guys, I hope this helps. I hope everything is going well with you otherwise. And until next time, take care.